Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to share this quick video. Um, you know, normally I like to do video. I wanted, you know, my if you've seen the couple videos done already with the back, the white background and all that stuff, where I look at stuff. Um, uh, that's cool and all, but sometimes I'm still struggling trying to find time to actually do videos. So I'm just doing this new fi feature that I call Raw Feed. It's where I just, you know, say what's on my mind to show you a few things. And today I want to talk about build a figures. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Build-A-Figures. Um, uh, back when uh, Toy Biz did the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figures, um, I got into those um, uh, with the, the Apocalypse, the Galacticus, and um, the Sentinel, which I thought was really cool because it was an idea that you could get a figure uh, that was larger than regular size and they normally wouldn't sell uh, on its own. And then over the years, I would chase the build of figures, and what I began ending up with was a uh, was <laughs> either a pile of parts like I have right here right now, or uh, an incomplete figure. For some reason, it was always the right leg. It was always hard to find that one. So I had a couple of figures. I think I had the the Marvel comics, the Ares uh, figure that was Mrs. Right Leg, and the um, uh, DC um, Arkillo uh, uh, Sinestro Corps guy. Uh, it was missing his right leg, so that was kind of frustrating. So, so a while ago, I decided to get off the build a figure train. That I wasn't going to focus on um, collecting uh, build a figures. And one of the reasons why was um, uh, when Marvel began, when ha when Hasbro began putting out uh, build a figures, uh, things that were once build a figures, but at but then selling the complete figure at a much lower price point than what it would take to um, uh, collect. Uh, each individual piece. Um, I didn't dig it out. If I was going to do a regular video, I was going to dig out uh, the the uh, Spider-Man Retro Kingpin, uh, which I have that that I, I think I paid like forty bucks for uh, for that, which was originally a, um, a build a figure. So, and then I think they they did that with the uh, Hulk Buster from the MCU, um, uh, Red Hulk, and a few others. So that kind of really solidified that it does make sense for me to chase. Uh, build a figure pieces. So what I do sometimes is as I get stuff, um, you know, I take all my pieces every once in a while and I take it to my local uh, toy shop here in Jacksonville and I just give them the build a figure pieces um, and, and let them, you know, sell it to folks or assemble if they get enough to and they'll sell the figure, which is good. So, so that's kind of why I don't like the build a figure uh, anymore. But I said, like I said, it's a love hate relationship because. What I do love about Build a Figures is though is that it enables you to get, you know, my favorites, obscure characters that probably would never see production uh, because it's not an Iron Man, a Batman, a Superman, a Captain. You know, it's not one of those ones they, you know, you see pretty much in every wave the reiteration of it. Um, and for like GI Joe collectors, you know, the in Star Wars, you know, the you know the hundredth version of Darth Vader or Snake Eyes. Um, so. So that is what I do kind of like about Build a Figures is it gives me like I was able to get Jocasta, um, which you probably would have never seen that uh, if it wasn't for a uh, Build a Figure wave where they have to fill out um, a wave, you know, like Jack O'Lantern and uh, and Frogman here uh, from Spider Man. I want to do a video on Frogman and, and Jack O'Lantern uh, in the future, more formal. Um, so that's just kind of a quick rundown. Um, I'm actually going to get these Build a Figure pieces ready to take. Uh, to the local comic shop and walk in there and see what they got and just hand them a comic a toy store and uh, hand them hand them over to them uh, because you know even if I decided to chase these figures down it would just take forever to do it with the way uh, the distribution and the um, demand in the scalper market is is you know I would probably wind up with just a, a torso and arm uh, maybe the head of the stilt man <laughs> figure um, Ironically, though, the the uh, Joe Fixit wave here, um, I think I've had just about every piece except one of the one of the arms or torso uh, because I just didn't collect them at, at the same time or, you know, the you find it on the shelf later, but it would have taken a long time to do it. Um, and the Demogoblin, I'm a big fan of the Goblins. Um, I may keep this. I may try to actually try to find those and be like one of the last Build-A-Figure pieces because uh, I've got that retro Green Goblin uh, and I hope they'll do a... Uh, Spider-Man uh, Retro uh, Hobgoblin, who is my favorite goblin, so I can get all three goblins. But I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I go uh, today. So, um, hey, just let me know, uh, boy, what you feel 
uh, about build a figures. Um, you know, some people love them. Uh, you know, like I said, I can take it or leave it. I think the last build a figure I actually did was the um, was the Super Scroll from the Fantastic Four wave, um, which was really cool. Um, and you know, at some point I'll do a video on him. So uh, that's it. Have a good one.